Motion, motion, motion. Motion, motion, motion. What is motion? Simply put, it is the way we play the drum. The path that the extensions on your body will take to produce the best sound possible. The science behind letting the stick resonate in your hand through the drum and into the air. And the way we do that is by using all three parts of this extension. One, two, three. In order of general use, wrist, finger, arm, wrist, finger, arm, wrist, finger, arm, wrist, finger, arm, wrist, finger, arm. Let me explain. The wrist will be your greatest defense against the treachery of bad sounds. The stability and support provided by simply imitating a knocking motion is unparalleled and severely undertaught. Try taking the sticks out of your hand and just knocking on any surface. Next up are these bad boys, flanges. These guys come into play mostly when you're playing faster passages and harder rhythms. Even so, they are still in constant contact with the stick. First comes the wrist and then follows the fingers. The fingers follow the entire time. I demonstrate through this angle, wrist, finger. Even though you're opening up a little bit to let the stick come up a little higher, the fingers are always in contact with the stick. And both are always supporting the stick on its way up to the third part of your extension. You never wanna initiate finger first because you will get this motion where there will be no support and a bad sound. Always wrist first, then fingers. I'm exaggerating the openness of my hand a little bit so you can get a better picture. But in conjunction, it'll be like this. Generally, you will wanna stay away from playing anything fast or any tight rhythms, as it is sure to develop the bad habit of relying on your fingers too heavily. If you rely on your fingers too heavily, the effects on your sound will be detrimental and very hard to fix later on. Ask me how I know. Lastly, we have tickets to the gun show. The final part of your extension, the arm, is usually the last to come into play across a lot of techniques. Utilized mostly for performance effects and big visuals. Because drums are already too loud, we reserve this for our big double F and triple F dynamics really loud and really really loud that is not to say that this is out of play entirely for those of us that think mathematically or like to visualize your arm is always at least five percent involved now i only say that to remind myself that it is still there and that i am not completely locking it out but i am not reliant on it the way it works with the wrist and then we gotta open up our hands for the fingers and then the arm at the low end your arm is obviously less involved, but I wouldn't cut it off. Obviously, you need it. When we get to the louder dynamics, then I would estimate about 20 to 30% involved. So essentially about a third of the way up to the apex of the motion. Again, because it's minimally involved, the arm tends to get locked out of the motion. You need the involvement from the arm to get those good sounds. In the case that you do end up locking out any of the three mechanisms, you will begin to experience a lot of pain, and not the good kind. Soreness? Soreness is normal, sure. But pain? It probably means you're... It probably meant... It prob... It probably means you went wrong somewhere down the line. Which is okay. Everyone's done it. But know the difference between growing pains and good old pain. Like comparing being chopped out from playing triplet roles for 30 minutes in the sun versus the monumental disappointment that was Star Wars Episode Nine. When all the tiny moving parts work together, even beginners can create great sounds from the first day. Simply by being relaxed and utilizing what your mama gave you. Everything should feel really organic. To further depict this motion, a good colleague of mine Christopher Casuto uses the analogy for the way a lunch lady pours chili on your tray. You ever seen the beauty that is the motion used by cafeteria staff to pour the chili 
onto your tray, it always looks so organic. Like they're not even trying and just using the natural weight of all three parts of that extension to slap that chili on your tray. And you hear the good sound that comes out when the chili slaps the tray because of the natural. <laughs> it's so true though, because of the natural motion that they use and throwing the chili on your tray. That's truly the kind of motion you're aiming for. That organic, natural, decisive way to play drums. Another good example picked up by another good colleague of mine, thanks Jason, is the idea of using a hammer. You never ever, ever use a hammer locking out any part of your arm. If you only use your arm, <laughs> your arm's gonna fall off. If you only use your wrist, your wrist is gonna fall off. If you only use your fingers, you won't be able to nail anything in. But if you use all three, you'll have the accuracy provided by your fingers and your wrist, and then the force needed from your wrist and your arm to create that beautiful motion that will naturally get the nail to where it's going because of all that is provided from, because of all that is provided from all these parts working together. And likewise, you could seriously injure yourself by cutting off any part of your arm when using something heavy like a hammer. Locking out anything is really instant arthritis. Again, these parts working together give us the biggest return for our investment with this motion. And conclusively, a great sound. Wrist, finger, arm, always all three. In different percentages, but always there. Every stroke you play will now have the chance to be quality because we are setting ourselves up for success before the note is even conceived. This in conjunction with the last video on grip and setup will allow us to create good sounds moving forward into our music playing videos. They're coming, I swear. All right, that's it guys. Remember to like and subscribe, stay updated. I'm gonna do another discussion video following this one, hopefully later today. I'm really loving all the feedback. Please keep talking to me. I really like to improve upon what I'm doing and I feel like I'm slowly getting there, but I really need your feedback to get to the point that I wanna to get to. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Again, not your mom. Throw me a sub if you like. Please, for the love of God, don't send kids back to school.